And now for some entertainment news, here's FNN's Mark J. Parker. Awesome! My name is Mark J. Parker. I'm originally from New Jersey, but I've been living in New York City for the past two years, going to school and working a few different jobs. Like everybody else in America, I pretend the paparazzi always chase after me and that Perez Hilton writes about me on his blog. The long-awaited movie Twilight is finally in theaters today. Midnight showings have already brought in $7 million. According to Fandango.com, more than 1,000 midnight screenings were sold out. It is the website's fastest-selling fastest -selling film since the summer blockbuster The Dark Knight. It looks like the vampire romance will definitely be hitting the top spot on the weekend box office. Two sequels to the film are already in development. As we all know, the material girl Madonna has split from her rock and roll husband, Guy Ritchie. You know, what's the deal with Madonna and A-Rod? That whole scandal was huge and then all of a sudden everyone just stopped talking about it. Yeah, everyone moved on to stories about Christian Bale beating up his mom and Miley Cyrus being a bitch on YouTube, but still, that was a juicy story. What happened to Madonna's marriage? Today, the two had their preliminary quickie divorce in the High Court of London. Madonna said in a statement that she is divorcing Richie because of his unreasonable behavior. Surprisingly, neither one of them actually attended the hearing, and neither did their attorneys. If there are no disputes in the next six weeks, the divorce will become finalized. I mean, is it all part of her upcoming Sticky and Sweet tour? Does Britney Spears know what's going on? And what's going to happen to David from Malawi? Two of their children, Rocco and David from Malawi, will split time between the U.S. and the U.K. It's also a sad day for television. Fans of the quirky show Pushing Daisies will have to say goodbye to the Emmy Award winning show, as ABC has decided to cancel it. Other ABC shows, Eli Stone and Dirty Sexy Money, will also be taken off the air after their 13th episode. The new issue of People magazine is on stands now, featuring Hugh Jackman as the sexiest man alive. No big surprise there, but the surprise comes within the pages of the magazine, as the hottest guys in Hollywood are offering their favorite scents. You can actually smell Chase Crawford, Michael Phelps, and others by scratching and sniffing the pages. Oh, speak of the devil! You know, who names their magazine okay? When you have titles like People, Us, Weekly, and Star, okay is just okay. Let's move on to celebrity babies, because I know you want one as much as I do, right? It seems like certain babies are famous right from the get-go, like Shiloh and Suri, and then others aren't so famous, like Jamie Lynn Spears' baby, Maddie, who is not nearly as exciting as the actual teen pregnancy was itself. And then you have babies like Sunday, who was actually born on a Monday, and Matthew McConaughey's baby, who no one cares about, and Jessica Alba's baby, who's just really dumb. And lastly, some nice news for singer Ashley Simpson and rocker Pete Wentz. They gave birth to a baby boy last night, and keeping up with their odd fascination with Disney characters, they have named him Bronx Mowgli Wentz. Mowgli is a character in the Jungle Book, but no word yet on why they picked first name Bronx. Perhaps it's their favorite New York City borough. Basically, it seems like your name has to be Brangelina, and you need to have a pair of really hot twins in order to be famous and cool. Which brings me to the question, where the hell is Pax? We see Maddox and Zahara and Shiloh, but no Pax. What, did they just return them to the adoption agency? Did, did they go up to the counter and show the receipt and have 60 days to return them? This isn't the gap. That's all for entertainment, and I'm Mark J. Parker. Back to you. I'm gonna go for a ride with Shia LaBeouf. See ya.